What to do if your husband treats you badly? My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And let's unpack this a little bit, shall we? So maybe you married wrong. Maybe you married a man who was treating you badly when you were dating. And you're just the kind of person who chose to allow that. Well, your husband's not going to change. But let's be more realistic. Realistically, what happened was during the dating and courting period of your relationship with your husband, he treated you with respect, lovingly, went out of his way to give you compliments, shared his heart's feelings with you, treated you in a way that made you feel loved, that made you feel that by marrying him, your life would be happier and happier, which is what it's supposed to be. What happened? What happened is chances are, not 100%, but chances are you both started taking each other for granted, mistreating each other, no longer complimenting, no longer admiring, not smiling as much, arguing, doing stupid things to each other. When I say stupid things, I mean things that degraded your relationship, that imposed upon your happiness, that eclipsed the love. What do you do? This is not rocket science. This doesn't require a specialist. It's common sense. You go back. Don't ask your husband to. You go back to treating him the way you treated him when you were first dating. Start expressing your love for him. Bite your tongue before you say anything that's critical or negative. Make your face smile towards him. It's your mind. You have control over it. You have free will. But what happens is we become reactive. We allow our habitual reactive mode to get in front of our good sense. And we start misbehaving. So you have to turn that around. Now, will that turn him around? Yeah, why wouldn't it? If someone was mistreating you, let's put the shoe on the other foot, and then they made a decision to start treating you really well, didn't say anything, don't say anything to your husband, but started treating you really well, you would start to respond to that. And that's what you should be doing. I really advise that you get one of my books, either Breaking the Cycle or Lessons for a Happy Marriage, and learn about marriage. Learn about yourself as a woman. Learn about your husband as a man. Start controlling your behavior, controlling your mind. Get the results from your marriage that you wanted from the very beginning. You wanted love. You can have love. You wanted happiness. You can have happiness. You have free will. You have volition. Set it into motion. Also, it won't hurt you to subscribe to this channel. Learn more about marriage every day. Learn more. Marriage, your marriage is the most important thing in your life. Make it so. Take advantage of this situation. Don't be victimized by your own mistakes. Okay. If you have further questions, if you have a situation, write into our counselors at the Marriage Foundation. Many people get some really good answers and that's all they need. Other people need to take the course. Whatever your needs are, deal with it. This is your marriage. Blessings to you, your husband, and your family. Thank you for spending time with me. God bless.